What is going on guys? Coach Show here at the Lions Den. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to get some big, thick, juicy arms and what I do personally to grow my arms. Guys, like I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about how to grow your biceps and triceps, so the arms. And I put other videos out in the past, which I'll link throughout this video, uh, but the main thing that I've noticed when it comes to growing the arms has been increasing the frequency and increasing the volume. So compared to uh, larger muscle groups, the biceps and triceps are gonna be smaller. So when we have smaller muscle groups, typically they tend to recover faster uh, and we can actually push the volume higher uh, per session with those muscle groups. So when it comes to frequency for myself, typically I train the arms two to three times per week. So on my main pushing days, I always like to incorporate some sort of tricep assistance or accessory work. And then on my pulling days, I like to throw in a little bit of biceps. And then typically I always just have one session uh, completely designated to arms throughout the week. So anywhere in that two to three times per week to hit the biceps and triceps is gonna be that sweet spot in terms of frequency. Now when it comes to volume, I'm more in favor of higher amounts of volume when training arms. So I like to be anywhere in that 12 to 15 rep range, uh, maybe sometimes 20 depending on the exercise. So uh, that's where I have found the most growth and, and kind of what the research is best suggesting when it comes to arms, but obviously play around and see what works best for you. The last tip when it comes to arms that I really like when it comes to training arms is supersetting. So in this training footage that you're watching, what I did is actually three supersets uh, with a bicep and a tricep per uh, superset, and I did it for about three sets uh, and in that 12 to 15 rep range for each exercise. So we're gonna get right into it talking about the first one. And my philosophy with this first superset is going to be uh, just priming the body with a bigger uh, movement. So what I mean by that is instead of doing isolation work uh, or just doing single arm work, I like to do uh, more of a compound lift or compound movement for the arm. So I start off by doing, I call them actually, J zap presses because we already have the JM press and we have the Z press and we have skull crushers and I find this movement kind of in between a skull crusher and a JM press so I'm going to call it the J zap press so let's make this thing infamous baby and you better start throwing these J zap presses in and tagging me everywhere because I want to see these triceps grow bigger than the freaking James and the Beanstalk Beanstalk. It, James, James and the Beanstalk or is it Jack and the Beanstalk and James and the Giant Peach? This is awkward. So we have the J zap press, okay? And I did three sets of 12 to 15 reps. And the first set, I wanted to have at least three reps in the tank. The second set, about two reps in the tank. And then the last set, about one rep in the tank, just to gauge the intensity. Uh, we're gonna superset that with a bicep curl. Uh, we're gonna use a bar, so either a barbell or easy bar. Now, I use an easy bar because it's a little bit uh, better on my wrists and elbows. If you are fine with a barbell, use a barbell or a straight bar, that's totally fine. Uh, but for me, the easy bar just feels a little bit better on my joints and really allows me to hit uh, the biceps pretty hard. So just going back and forth between those two movements, and I'm typically gonna rest anywhere from two and a half to three minutes uh, between each superset, uh, so I can really focus on hitting it hard uh, when I'm going through that, that full range of motion. So that's the other key point here, which I talked about in my other videos. We wanna get full range of motion for all these exercises. I, I really don't see much reason why we wouldn't wanna hit full range of motion working with Mike Isretel, the RP Strength Crew. You know, they have a lot of great information on why we should go full range of motion. So I love to hit full ROM uh, with all these movements that I'm gonna be talking about. Now next, so the, the second of the three supersets, uh, we move over to uh, some straight bar push downs. So a little bit more isolation here of the triceps. And we're going to do uh, some hammer curls. So I really like doing the hammer curls because now we're getting into uh, some single arm work and we're really gonna hit the biceps as well as the, uh, the brachialis. Uh, in the arm. So there's different muscles that we want to hit to really kind of give that arm that full look. Um, so when we're doing these guys, just really focusing on that mind muscle connection. So uh, for the push downs, the straight bar push down, something I really like to think about is almost like I'm pushing myself out of the pool, right? Where you're almost doing that muscle up to get out of the pool when you're on the edge of the pool. That's what I'm thinking about uh, when I'm doing these. I'm really trying to push the bar down and away from me and hit that tricep as hard as I can. Now on the bicep uh, hammer curls, I'm trying to get that full range of motion. I don't wanna to use too much body English or use my hips or cheat or anything like that. Keeping it nice and strict and really trying to squeeze my bicep as tight as possible. Getting that full range of motion, almost driving that dumbbell up towards my forehead uh, just so that I'm getting a full contraction. C curls, baby. 
Pussy Curls! Ah! Once again, these are going to be for three total sets for that 12 uh, to 15 rep range. Typically on the straight bar pushdowns, you can maybe do that 15 to 20 reps uh, just because you're using both arms. So it all depends on how you're feeling, what's gonna be the best um, rep range for the stimulus that you're looking for. But for me, uh, I'd like to stick to that 15 to 20 for these. And on the hammer curls, I'm going anywhere from that 12 to 15 per arm. Lastly, on tap for the third superset for the triceps, we're going to do uh, cable kickbacks. Now with these cable kickbacks, you wanna make sure that the weight is light enough that you can fully lock the arm out um, with the extension of the elbow, okay? So that's gonna be a key one. If you go too heavy, you're not gonna be able to get that lockout. And I think just those little degrees of range of motion is really gonna help uh, give your muscle the best stimulus possible for growth and just look like a nice full belly um, for the triceps, okay? So, when you're hitting those full ROM, uh, for this I did about 15 per arm. Uh, same thing, three reps left in the tank on the first set, all the way down to one rep left in the tank on the third set. And then we're supersetting with incline alternating dumbbell curls. And I really like these for the isolation on the bicep. We can't cheat these at all, okay? We're keeping that back pressed against the bench and just really putting as much emphasis into the bicep as possible. Uh, and you're just gonna alternate back and forth. Once again, 12 to 15 reps uh, per arm. First set, about three reps left in the tank. Last set, you should probably have one rep left in the tank. Now it's up to you if you wanna increase the weight each set or if you find that just due to fatigue, the same weight is giving you uh, those reps left in the tank, uh, then that's gonna be good. But that's pretty much the entire workout. Very simple, in and out within 35, 45 minutes, guys doing those supersets, getting a lot of blood to the muscle uh, as fast as possible, you know, just doing work, not losing focus. And if you do this, okay, or just throw this workout in, you can obviously use exactly what's in here, but you can swap things out. So instead of, you know, doing uh, the, the J zap press, because we're sticking with that, you could do maybe a close grip bench press to really hit those triceps or try a different barbell to, to isolate those triceps. And for any of the single arm work, throw in whatever variations work best for you. But I like to start off, like I said, with more of a bigger compound uh, movement and then uh, kind of work my way down to more isolation or single arm stuff just to finish out. And typically I can hit a little bit more extra volume uh, with those movements. But that is it guys. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends on social media platforms, etc. cetera. Uh, but I hope that this helped. Watch the other videos on the arm training. And of course guys, stay a lean, mean strength machine.